Oh, no, did it? Hold on. Oh, it's saying 4,000 now, but it is unstable. It's looking... It's looking all right now. But it does, it, does, it does say that it was red, and it does say it's unstable. So hold on, let me check if it just, like, dropped for a minute. Or, like, what the... Oh, yeah, it just, like, shut off for a minute. <laughs> it wasn't even... It didn't even drop. It just literally... There's nothing. <laughs> um, whoops. I guess. Well, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> um... <laughs> I didn't do that. I didn't mean to do that at the very least. You didn't miss anything. Nothing nothing important has happened. Oh, did you not want to finish your painting? I think you should resume your small classic painting after you finish those. Bianca should grab a drink. Oh, she already did. She should drink her drink. Drink with desperation. Uh, isn't that supposed to make her energy go, like, back up a lot? It's barely going up at all, girl. Yeah, that like didn't go up at all. But it is eight eight PM. Is what's her face open? Lindsay? No. Okay. Well in that case do not grab another drink, girl, you can go to bed. That's fine for you. John's busy writing. Raul's busy painting. Welcome back, Olive Branch. Yeah, I don't know what happened with my, with, but my stream like dropped out all of a sudden. Um, by the time I noticed, it was already back. So <laughs> I have no clue what happened. But welcome back. Appreciate you stopping back in. Um. Okay, so she's asleep. That's good. John's writing his comedy. That's also good. His birthday is in two days on Tuesday. And then it's Winterfest the day after. Okay. Oh my god, the Finchwick Cow Fair is this week. I really hope Cheeseburger comes in first at this point. Internet did have a hiccup. Welcome back in, Roy. Appreciate you stopping back in. I have no clue what caused it. We just got a new router, too, so it shouldn't be... Like, my router should be all good, you know? <laughs> but who knows? Who knows the reason? That is a creepy-ass painting roll. You can sell that. Don't create a copy. Sell to a collector. John, you can write another comedy routine. Raul, you can. Um, come clean the shed. Because it is dirty. Oh my god, he only got 17 out of 20 types of fish. Raul's never going to complete this uh, aspiration. He's been trying literally his whole life. <laughs> and John, you should probably go to bed soon also just to have a regular schedule. At least a semi-regular schedule. Because <laughs> you still go to school for another two days. Oh my god, John's going to have a job soon. That's wild. I remember just yesterday it was like John was born. He's almost a young adult already. 
That's crazy. Yeah, after you finish writing this, you can take a shower and then go to bed. That seems right for you. Raul's gonna finish cleaning and then go to bed, I think. on a crafted object. Well, John doesn't craft anything is the problem. <laughs> John never crafts anything. He does, however, breed frogs. We have a lot of frogs. <laughs> Raul's going to bed, John is about to finish his comedy routine and then shower and go to bed. Things are going alright. There's not like a comedy... Um... One of these, right? Popularity? Joke star, maybe? It still requires you to become an adult. <laughs> well, I guess we can do that for right now. He wants to be funny to five sims. And he's got 2,000 points. What should we do for him? He can be, um, shameless. That makes sense for a comedian. And he's about to go to bed, which is great, because Connor is about to come home. Connor, who might even get a promotion today, honestly. I doubt it, but he could. I wonder if we work hard for the last 20 minutes, if that'll, if that'll make a difference. Ah, oh, it did not. <laughs> That's fine. Um, he'll get promoted tomorrow. And I think because he works tomorrow also, I'm going to have him go explore space the second he gets home here. Go right back into space, my guy. Because all your needs are fine, so you don't really need taken care of right now. Oh my god, he's an elder now. That's so sad. I don't even get to know how long I have left with him. At least we know we'll always have Donnie, Mondi, and Monty. pillars of this community, honestly. No, he brought it back. It was just a live uh, space porcupine, I think. Or, no, the... It was the live red coral. Which I already kind of had, so I think I'm going to sell, actually. Because we have that somewhere up in his room. If I remember correctly. A treasure map. Well, of course we follow the map. What, are we not going to follow a map that has a dotted line leading to a red X? Come on. <laughs> Small opening in the tunnel beneath the tree. Of course we go in. Of course we go in. 
We have a lot of random little aliens in this house. Just kind of chilling all over the place. He found something. Donning his trusty headlamp, he heads quietly into the tunnel deeper and deeper until he seems a beam of light coming through a crack in the ceiling. Under it is a locked box. Pry the box open. Treasure hunt. <laughs> ah, there's our library coral. It's in John's room. We already had it, yeah. We got aliens all over this house. Chorus of tiny beseeching voices. Talk to the child. Yeah, I guess. I guess we'll talk to a child. <laughs> Oh, both of the cats coming upstairs at the same time. Uh -huh. Raul will go back to bed. Cool. We found a space rock. That was most of the treasure intact. A common space rock. That thing I have like 17 of. <laughs> Great job, Connor. I'm very proud of you. Ah, oh, now Bianca's awake. Bianca. Go back to bed. Don't even know where you are, but go back to bed. I want everybody in this house to be on a regular schedule, goddammit. <laughs> Unload and put away laundry, and then unload and move laundry to the dryer. I keep forgetting that we have to do laundry. I know, worst treasure hunt ever. <laughs> Very anticlimactic, frankly. Move the laundry to the dryer, and then we will um, do laundry, add to washing machine. Dry the laundry. And then... Wash laundry. <laughs> Doing laundry is a whole thing. Just like in real life. Okay, would you like to craft a bathtub? That would be cool for you. giving all the stuff to sell to Connor just so he can make his aspiration if he needs to. Anything we can sell, we're giving it to Connor. Anything we are going to sell, we're going to give to Connor. <laughs> oh, I wonder, did Raul ever finish? Not the llama corn one, I guess, but... He did finish the pumpkin one. Okay, that's good. Raul's got so many things in his inventory. Honestly, a lot of this we can sell as well. I'm never going to use these. I bought them so that I would have them in the in the collection thing. <laughs> We're going to sell pretty much all of them. I'm going to hold on to the pomegranate, probably. Because a pomegranate tree uh, does well, if I remember correctly. We're going to hold on to the cow plants and the dragon fruits. Shunigua. Shunigua. Everything else is going to Connor, and then we're all selling it all. 
Okay, the orchid we're keeping. Because that will grow quite well for us when we uh, can plant it. Everything else is going into Connor's inventory. And Connor, you should make another bathtub. One of these days, we will um, max our handiness skill. 47% complete right now. Okay, and let me make sure I didn't select anything I don't want to sell. We're good. I still don't think we're going to make to this aspiration, though. 200000 is a lot of money. Oh, this is nice. It gets our handiness up by about 10%, it seems like. Maybe a little more. Maybe like 15. So we only need to make a couple more bathtubs then. I need focus too, so I think that's actually helping out a lot with the handiness skill. Craft one more bathtub, and we'll see where that brings us to. We're at 61 when it's right now. And then you can come get some food. We've still got tofurkey left over. No, not the chicken sal saltambuca, the one serving of it that's in there. Oh. Did we run out of tofurkey? No way. That's crazy. I thought we'd have that for days and days and days. You can have a piece of cake after that, I guess. We're going to have to have Bianca do some cooking. Oh, also, it is almost 6 a.m., so the kids should wake up now, yes. Um, Raul does not work today. He can come harvest the pears and then... Um, Do a flower arrangement, I guess? I don't know. A begonia. Actually, these are kind of cute. Um, we'll probably have to sell this one at this point. We'll, maybe we'll replace the one that's on here every day. A nice wooden bathtub, Oblio. You know, you've never had one? <laughs> I know, it's very strange. I would not get a wooden bathtub, ideally. <laughs> it just feels like it would um, shrink the wood. Or maybe, maybe make the wood expand and give you splinters. Like, <laughs> doesn't seem like a good idea to me. That's, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> You all right there, Bianca? You're having trouble on the toilet there. Ah, <laughs> Ina. Uh, uh. Okay. John's eating the cake. Raul's doing that. Bianca is washing her hands. And then, yeah, I thought so. 
her dad was there while she was about to go to go get leftovers, so she can't go get leftovers. <laughs> Don't you know? She's sad from damn clothing? No, you're not, girl. I, like, definitely finished the laundry. <laughs> From a sore back. John, that's like a hundred a thousand dollar bed. How are you still getting a sore back from it? He wants to be funny to five sims, so maybe he should tell a joke to Bianca and then tell a joke to Connor. And then tell a joke to Raul. Sniff his fresh clothing, maybe. I don't know about that. Maybe don't sniff your dad's fresh clothing. <laughs> What's Bianca sad from? Oh, right, the stupid clothing. That's alright, you guys have school in a moment. Oh, Connor, you're actually supposed to move the stuff from the washer to the dryer. We can't forget about doing laundry. Bianca's sad for four hours because she's wearing wet clothes, apparently. <laughs> Connor, do the laundry. Raul's gonna sell that. That's nice. We'll put this over there now. And then we gotta dry the laundry. Oh, uh, whoops. We'll have Connor do that. And then it's almost time for the kids to go to school, so they can do whatever they want for a, a couple of minutes. But actually, ooh. Will this work? Take photo of... Bianca. Just stand still for, like, five seconds. You're gonna be late to school, but it's fine, because we'll finally get a photo of you. Connor, what are you doing? Why are you, what? Who? Why? This is not, that's not a good photo of Bianca. <laughs> Why did he go outside for that? Why? Okay, well, we're not gonna take this photo, obviously. <laughs> Everybody go to school. Bianca, go to school. I guess we'll take a photo of you later. <laughs> uh, Raul, um, we don't have winter seeds, do we? I guess you can clean cheeseburger and make sure that cheeseburger is feeling all right. Give Cheeseburger a healthy treat to extend his life. Oh, pomegranate is a winter seed. Interesting. An orchid is winter. Okay, good to know. Connor, what are you doing now? You're gonna go talk to the cat? That's fine. We haven't really hung out with the cats in a, in a minute. We can brush them. Play with the laser pointer. Mm -hmm. 
request a song, get to know, talk to. You. <sighs> Gotta make sure we talk to the pets and everything. Gotta make sure we take care of all of the pets. <laughs> Hopefully, milkshake or cheeseburger doesn't kick over this batch of milk. I feel like he always does. I don't think we can talk to those. I think they're just more of like a um, environmental thing, like like how um, some of the statues will give off like, yeah, environment. <laughs> I don't even think we can view them. Yeah, we can only put them in our inventory. You're feeling focused again. Would you like to make another bathtub? Connor's cranking out these bathtubs. And I'm going to find some places for these cross stitches to stand up. Outdoor studying. Well, obviously she's going to play with her friends. Like Bianca is going to do the well-behaved thing. Come on. <laughs> Almost like her brain functions better when she's well-rounded. Oh my goodness. It was the right choice. <laughs> Why is she sad at school? Oh, because of the, the clothes. Well, that's fine. Raul's gonna go eat, um, cake, which is fine. I wonder if we can hang this on the wall? I think there's an option for that. View, read. Mm. I guess we can sell it. These ones are gonna stay, though. Yeah, we can have a nice little cross stitch back there. That's cute. And then the pumpkin one can be over here. Maybe it can trade places with the plants. I had to go into build mode for that, though. Mm, I'm going to have to alt place. There we go. And you can sell this one. And then go get dinner. Oh, you can't sell it because it's on the corner. Come sell it now. Sorzuya! Mm. I'm trying to decide what I want to have Raul do now. Well, he's going to have to go to the bathroom, I guess. I feel like we should try to befriend Cheeseburger more, though. I feel like we're not good enough friends. He'll die wearing the spacesuit? He might. <laughs> <laughs> he's been wearing it since he was a teenager. Um, no, I do think he's going to um, retire at some point, but I kind of want to see if he can make it to level 9 of his career. Maybe 10. But he will retire at some point. Um, 
It seems like he's got a, lo a good long way to go, though. Because that was two days, I think. Not even. He's going to max out his, like, sixth maxed out skill. Literally ridiculous. We got $9,000 bills to pay. That's fine. That's a dent in what we have, what we have money-wise, honestly. Not even a full dent. Edith Scott, yeah, go for it. Wanted to see a boomer in space. <laughs> He's still gonna go to space for a little while. We don't even really have much to get out of it these days, because I think we've gotten pretty much everything you can get from space. But he'll still go. He's been going since a teen. He's a teen. He's not going to stop now. <laughs> it's what he does for fun. He explores the cosmos. It's going to be weird when he's gone and I can get rid of the rocket. Like, I, we won't need it anymore. Um, maybe I'll put it in the household inventory so we won't have to buy a new rocket if, any, if ever we want to go back to space. But, like, we're not going to need a rocket ship once Connor passes away. <laughs> What's he doing? He's gonna go pay bills. That's fine. And you're eating cake. That's also fine. But you should also probably um, make a bathtub after that. <laughs> I want level 10 handiness. God damn it. Raul, once you're done there, you can go fishing for a little bit. And Connor, once you're done eating, you can make another bathtub. That'll probably bring us to um, level 10, hopefully. No one wants a used rocket, yeah, true. <laughs> like I said, we'll probably keep it in the household inventory if we can. Just, I don't want it out in my yard because it's so big. It takes up so much space. I really want Raul to finish this aspiration. But at this point, it's not something I can control. It's something that it, it, we just kind of have to luck out into catching three fish that we haven't before at this point. Which maybe we can go fishing at different places, actually. Maybe that'll help it out. But... Fishing as an aspiration, I know. Who 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 would think we would see the day? <laughs> Never understand, I know. You know, though, it's it's all going to be worth it in the end because he'll be able to um, what is it? He'll be able to have his, all of his problems melt away while he's fishing. So if he's ever sad about anything, this is how he's going to get over Connor being dead. Uh, is he's going to go fishing probably? <laughs> All of the bad moodlets, we're going to make them go away, no problem. Did that bathtub not bring you to level 10? 
You're joking. 91% complete. Craft one more bathtub. <laughs> oh, wow, Rumus. And then maybe we'll bring Raul somewhere special so he can fish to see if there's like, a, I don't know, a more chance of us getting a different type of fish somewhere else. <laughs> I think there is. I think different places give you different fishes, but... I haven't really done that much exploring. I don't really know. Welcome back, Panda. No worries. I also, my, like, Wi-Fi dropped out, so if you weren't, like, paying attention, you dropped off. And you wouldn't have a way to know anyway, so that's not a problem at all. <laughs> Never apologize for having a little bit of a life. Connor's gonna have to eat soon. That's fine. He's made his, like, fifth bathtub of the day. I think he could have some cake, you know? <laughs> I think he deserves it at this point. 99% complete. Connor starts working an hour. Bianca returned from school. Just Bianca? Oh, okay, John too. <laughs> Made a whole new cat from the hair. Yeah, I had a cat that you used to be able to just, like pull for off it. <laughs> it was a little ridiculous. Heck yeah. We can craft toilets at the word working table now. Ooh, a nice wooden toilet. <laughs> um, you can also upgrade kitchen objects twice as fast as before and hand mentor other sims in handiness. That's actually pretty handy. Um, because we will have to have Bianca work on her handiness at some point soon. Um, just so we have someone in the house who knows how to do things, you know? <laughs> Alright, Connor. You... You can finish crafting the bathtub. But then we also are going to craft a wooden toilet. Don't... Don't make... The, don't think I'm forgotten about that. <laughs> how is that you guys' needs, though? They're both fine. Okay. Bianca. Would you like to do some cooking? Speaking of getting some skills. Vegetable dumplings, maybe a party sized. And John, I don't even know what I want to do with you. Actually, I know exactly what I want to do with you. Dig. You're going to be a digging boy. You're going to do some digging. Digging in the dirt. Search for frogs, even, maybe. Nothing over here. We're going to pass by Raul, who's still out fishing. And then we'll be all set. Perfect. Alright, everybody's off to go do their things. Perfect. Look at Bianca's walk. <laughs> she's so happy that she's ruined everybody in town's day. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on Bianca because um I don't think she has cooked much before. No. Jump your dish. John dug up a capsule, heck yeah. Pima Blashu. You, can you not make spaghetti, Connor? Actually, 
If you want something, we have food in, in here. Get a piece of cake. Also, I guess Bianca's gonna have to cook this now, afterwards. A single serving of spaghetti. <laughs> oh, we can sell it, I guess. Never mind. I can take the $6 loss. Somehow I'll, I'll live. <laughs> Oh, uh, Connor, go to work. Go to work. And work hard while you're at work. Raul just caught a lump of clay. Work hard. John's almost finished with his searching. And then once he's done and Bianca's done cooking, I think we're going to take Bianca and Raul to some park or something. Somewhere not home. Um, and see if we can have Bianca meet somebody and John catch something that is not a treasure map or <laughs> any of those things. Treasure map should actually go to John. And John, before you get to this last one over here, you can search for treasure over here instead. That's perfect. Would you like to um, go pee real quick? And then maybe even eat some leftovers. And Raul, you can stop fishing and come eat some leftovers as well. And then we'll go to the park. Just so we're not like starving while we're there, you know? And we found a time capsule. Nice. He's going to go get water. Um, oh my god, his birthday's tomorrow. I forgot about that. Chef Gino and Tobor. Cool. Come get some food, John. Bianca's starving. Why didn't you get any food, girl? What do you mean you can't reach it? Go get leftovers, girl. Girl. Open the fridge and get leftovers. <laughs> Everyone got to go before Bianca. Bianca was the one who I told to do it first. <laughs> Okay, once she eats, we'll go to the park. It's 7 p.m. Nobody's going to be there. Okay, perfect. Let's go. It's winter, so we'll travel in winter. And we'll go... I feel like I never go anywhere in Brindleton Bay. And maybe we'll go to this museum over here. On the island. 
I've never gone there. And we'll bring just Raul. The park at night, what could go possibly wrong? <laughs> We're there to fish and meet people, what could go wrong? <laughs> No, we're going to a museum. It's slightly safer. There's nobody weird goes to the museum at night. Come on. <laughs> Just Bianca. Oh, it's like snowy, snowy out here. And there is nowhere to fish. Actually, can Raul fish over here? Okay, he can come fish over here. Examine the water. So you can't even fish? What do you mean, examine the water? Wait, where even are we? We're over here, okay. Can you fish down here? I don't think so. Okay, well, that was kind of a waste, then. Is there anybody here, then? Anybody at all? Bo Lynch, who's an adult. Let's go somewhere else. This one's not working out so well. <laughs> we can't do either of the things we came here to do. We're leaving. We're out of here. <laughs> um... We could go visit Kelly, I guess. Oh, we could go to the wharf. Let's go to Club Calico. Go to the club with our daughter. <laughs> to go fishing while she meets some teens. Um, <laughs> hopefully they will go well. Hopefully there's at least a place to fish on the wharf. <laughs> there's not on the island, apparently. Um... Which, I don't know about you guys, seems weird to me. <laughs> Club Calico. I'm ready. Is there a place to fish? Can I fish here? Examine water. Why can't I fish? In such extreme cold. Oh. Okay, well that's boring. Let's check inside the club. There's nobody even here. It's 7 o'clock on a Monday. Oh, wait, there's somebody. Journey Westbrook, she's an adult. <laughs> oh, oh, who's this? Kristen Cherry, also an adult. Maybe we do have to go to, like, a park or something. There's no... There's no nobodies. <laughs> no teenagers in this world at all. Jay Huntington III, an elder. Can't go fishing in this world. Okay, let's try maybe a different world. Maybe it's too cold here. Um, but maybe we can go fishing somewhere else. Maybe we can go fishing in Henford-on-Bagley. Let's go to the island of Olby Park. This used to be the, like, Raul's favorite place to go. He went there, like, twice a week. <laughs> there's gonna be no teens here, so be, there's no point in Bianca's thing, but, like, I want Raul to be able to fish. That was the whole point of coming out tonight. <laughs> okay. Can I fish here?
go fishing. Oh, maybe not you. Maybe maybe just Rebel. Fish with bait, Basil. Now Bianca. You're gonna have to make a journey here. I think we're going to come talk to the Creature Keeper. Yosef Hanks. <laughs> Have a nice friendly introduction to him. Oh, I forgot about Oreo as well. Oh, Oreo. Yeah. Raul caught another treasure map. Oh my god. Oh, okay. We're at the Creature Keeper. Uh, I'd like to buy some animal clothing while I'm here. Mm. Well, I got something different for the cow, I guess. Finally. Uh, and I don't think there's much different for the rabbits. So that's fine. We can just buy the one cow thing. And then, um, offer help with his errands, maybe? I don't know. Raul caught an apple. Alright, well, you're catching the wrong type of things here, my guy. Oh. Oh. This is different than I thought it was. I thought this was just, like, an offer to help with his stuff thing. We actually have to help him. Um... I don't actually want to help you with any of your errands. I'm so sorry, my guy. And I don't think there's anybody running around at this at this point for Bianca to meet. So we might just travel home. We'll let Raul catch one more fish. She's talking to herself. That's fine. Oh, it was seaweed. That's annoying. Home we go. So that was a not so um great night out with our dad. <laughs> We didn't really do anything. We didn't really meet anybody. We didn't really catch any fish. Things did not go as planned. We sort of wasted the day, but that's fine. It is what it is. <laughs> High level mischief. The power of voodoo seems kind of weak in this game, though. It didn't really do anything to Martina at all. She didn't even, like, giggle when I tickled the, with the voodoo doll, you know? Nothing. I did nothing. Yes. <sighs> Connor's at work. That's fine. Raul is just tired. Which makes sense at 9. Um, so you can go to bed. Usual family day out then, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Everything went wrong. Nothing w we, we wanted to happen happened. John's... Dancing when we got home. Yeah, typical day out with the family. <laughs> Come take a shower, my guy. And then you can write some comedy before you go to bed. Bianca, you're going to eat something. And then you are going to troll the Teflorums for a little while before you go to bed.
actually eat your food though, please still. I would I would enjoy for you to take care of your hunger bar. <laughs> I love Dilbert. He's a very silly cat. I also love Miss Gay. And Miss Kitty. She's busy trolling the forums. I'm gonna have her um, send a spam money request to Eric, of course. We haven't we haven't annoyed Eric enough today. We're gonna send him a chain letter. We're going to send another spam money request to Octavia. John's busy listening to Dilbert. He can um, get to know Brush. <laughs> and where's Miss Gay? Her scheme worked. Nice. Connor's cruising through Star Vortex V, taking a payload of moon rocks for a regular client. But a brand new client calls with a much better offer. No, we ignore the offer. Same thing I did yesterday. <laughs> Why would you send me this chain letter? <laughs> because I hate you, Eric. I'm so sorry. I'm actually really not, though. She wants to be friendly with John, so we can, um, we can do a friendly thing. Become best friends forever? Oh, that's so cute. I'm not gonna do it, because I think, I think that they would not become best friends when, um, Bianca, like, hates his girlfriend with a passion. Um. <laughs> oh, they gained a sentiment! Or Bianca gained a sentiment about John. John did not gain a sentiment about Bianca. <laughs> Brighten Bianca's day a little bit, though. John, you can then unload laundry and then go to bed. It's pretty much midnight, so you guys should go to bed soon. Um, and Bianca's already going to bed? Perfect! Oh, Connor took care of his hunger last minute at work. That's perfect. can't help but wonder if this career is the right one for him. Listen, my guy, didn't you just get a promotion? Yeah, you just got a you just got a promotion. What do you mean you don't know if this job is the one for you? <laughs> He's an alien goods trader. Oh my god, he makes $328 an hour. $328 an hour? That's so crazy. Oh my god, he needs to have some fun and take a shower. Um, but that's wild. He needs to max the fitness skill too to max out this um, career. Um, maybe it's time for him to retire. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think he can work on the fitness skill anymore now that he's an elder. We'll see. We'll see what he can do. 
honestly, yeah, I, I want that job too, Nico. <laughs> I want $328 an hour to, for going to space. <laughs> Talking with aliens and shit. Wow, that was the quickest shower I've ever seen anyone do ever. Don't go there. Have some fun on the video games. He's had a rough day. He's a little stressed. I think he's the only sim in the house that can get tense, so that makes sense. <laughs> um, sky high wages for that job. <laughs> Well, that you have to go up to this guy to get him anyway, you know? <laughs> they may as well put him up there. <laughs> God, I don't know. Maybe we can try having him work out, but I don't want him to accidentally die because he gets that stupid, um, like, dangerously tired thing that they get. So we'll see. We'll see if we can maybe do, like, little spurts of him working out and see if we can max out this skill slowly before he goes to work again on Tuesday. Maybe... <sighs> Maybe Thursday will be his last day of work. Because it's Tuesday and he doesn't work till Thursday. So we can focus on trying to get the fitness up by then. While also not getting that mood lit that makes him die. <laughs> I think, though, maybe once he reaches level 9 here, I might call it a stream. Um, just so I can get other things done with my day before I come back to play more Sims later on. And also just so Connor can live longer, because I'm getting scared about the fact that he is an elder. He's lived 100 days. That's wild. That's so strange. Reached level 9 already. <laughs> and then actually, I think today is... Oh my god, John's last day of school. Oh my god. John turns into a young adult today. That's crazy. We gotta get him a partner and then move him out. A partner, a baby, and move him out. Big changes in the family happening soon. Yo. Oh, oh, Level 9 fitness! Ah, oh, thank god. It didn't give me a little thing about it, though. That's strange. Don't you dare read Kelly's Book of Life. It's up on there for a reason. <laughs> Wants him to live longer, gets him running for hours. That's how you do it here in The Sims. <laughs> okay, don't go do that. That's fine. But I am going to save, and I believe I'm going to call it quits for the moment. So, if you're still here hanging, lurking, chatting, or vibing, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Um, I'll definitely be back later on. I want to play a whole lot more Sims today. But I do, I have to go to the gym, I have to get my shopping for the snacks and stuff for the week. Um, I have to take care of myself before I continue taking care of my sims. <laughs> so, thank y'all for hanging with me. I appreciate you. Oh my god, we got a lot of, what is this? Scratch. Saves Scratch from 1047. Well, let's restore all of that. Sorry, I get dis I get distracted by this thing... Anytime I save now in The Sims, I have to, like, make sure that it actually saves my files because it keeps saying that I, like, ran out of space. So we put them in the recycling bin, but you can you can put them back, no problem. So I'm like, I don't know what you mean. I'm just going to put those back and hope that um you saved my save. <laughs> um, so that, that that's what I'm dealing with at the end of every stream now. But that has nothing to do with y'all. 
Thank y'all for hanging. Thank y'all for chatting. I hope you have a lovely rest of the afternoon. I should be back later on. I don't know if it'll be even um, at 6. I might even be a little earlier than that. It depends on how my day goes from rest from here on. Um, how much I dilly-dally, really, is the question. <laughs> Till then, I hope you all have a lovely afternoon, a lovely evening if I don't happen to catch later on. And uh, until the next time, guys. Bye.